Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the electron gain enthalpy. It's just a reverse of electron, uh, sorry, ionization enthalpy. In this case, the energy that will be liberated when once electron comes, joins it. Correct. Now, so if you see, boron has a very, if you compare, let's say both boron and Fluorine now. Boron has less power to attract a new electron as compared to fluorine. Why? Fluorine is more charged. So if you see, fluorine has more charge. Fluorine has more charge. More Q charge. Bromine has less charge. And it has small size. It has more size. So I'm just comparing now fluorine and fluorine and so we compare these two fluorine has more capacity to attract electron as compared to bromine. Why? Because it has more charge, more power to attract. Also, its size is small, right? So even if electron is here, it can attract easily, right? So fluorine has more charge and less size as compared to bromine. So it has more capacity to attracted. So if you see, if you go from this direction to this direction, the electron gain enthalpy increase because more energy is liberated when electron is attracted to chlorine. Similarly, if you go down, let's compare, let's suppose uh, carbon and germanium. So we compare carbon and germanium, carbon has less charge but less size. Germanium has more charge but very huge size. So size is a critical role to play here, right? So in this case, both were favoring fluorine, but in this case, only one is favoring, that is a size one. So germ germanium has less tendency to attract electron as compared to carbon. Correct? Because of size. So if you go up, the tendency to attract electron increase because the carbon has more tendency. So if you go up, the electron gain enthalpy increase. Right? But there are two exceptions here. The first is the group 15, that is my nitrogen family. They have low electron gain enthalpy. And why? See, the first question that you should ask is why an atom, why an atom tries to attract electron? Why? So, for example, if there is an electron here, chlorine will try to attract. If there is an electron here, nitrogen will try to attract. But why are they trying to attract electron? Because they want to attain stability. Correct. See, the goal of everybody, you, me, atom, everything in the universe is to attain stability. Right. So these guys, all these atoms, they just want to try to attain stability. So they are trying to gain the electron. And that's why it is it is always negative mostly. It, is. it gives, gives out energy. So since fluorine has only one electron deficient, it will try to attract electron all the more. That's extra reason for fluorine to attract electron and that's why the fluorine has more electron gain enthalpy as compared to bromine. That's also one reason. So the the power to attract electron or the, the behavior to attract electron depends also on the electron hungerness. Right? So if fluorine somehow gets one electron it will be almost stable. It just in one electron. So it will fight, fight, fight to get one electron. Right? So it will be easily to get, it will do its best to get an electron and that's why it has more tendency to get electron. For carbon, to get one, to get attain stability, it has to get four electrons. Nobody will give carbon four electron, right? So even if you fight for four electrons, it will be difficult for him to get four electron. So it has less electron gain enthalpy. Correct. So if you talk about nitrogen, nitrogen has half filled electron. If you see nitrogen, if you see it has in p orbitals, it has three electrons. Correct. So let me let the electronic configuration of nitrogen. 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So if you see the general electronic configuration for this group is ns2, np. And 3 is nothing but 6 by 2. The maximum electrons it can have in p orbitals is 6 and it has 3. That means it is half filled. The p are, this is the nitrogen family is half filled 
P sharp cells. And we have discussed this in the Adam chapter that if it is half filled, it attains the partial stability. So nitrogen is almost stable, partial stable. So if it gains one extra electron, it will not have much advantage, right? So it's almost half stable. Gaining one extra electron, it will become more unstable actually. So that's why nitrogen will have less tendency to attract electron even if the charge and size is favoring nitrogen. Even if nitrogen can attract electron, but nitrogen will not have tendency to attract electron. Same is with, if you see the noble gas, right? They are stable, they are fully stable. And thus the electron gain in thalpy is zero because they don't have any desire to gain electron. Even if you see their charge is very high, pretty high, size is pretty slow, low. If you compare, let's suppose, uh, fluorine with uh, oxygen, if you compare only the charge and size, or you should attract more electron and the electron gain there should be more but zero big zero why because the fluorine is stable and it doesn't want any electron to disturb himself right so in that case it won't attract electron similarly the case of nitrogen since it is partial stable half stable it will have less tendency to attract electron so electron gain therapy depends on three factors now one is the size other than the charge so that does that determine the capability to capability to attract electron but capability is something which is not the only factor the other is desire also matters see somebody has capability some but some student is very bright he has capability to uh, become topper in the exams but if he is not having any desire to study he won't get good marks right or if somebody has desire to get good marks, but he is not having capability, he will not get good marks. So both are required, capability and desire. So when we talk about the capability to attract electron, we talk about two parameters, that is the size and charge. We can also talk, and the charge I'm talking about is the effective nuclear charge. So there we, we take about all this uh, 3D uh, shielding effect and all, everything we take. We talk about the effective nuclear charge on the outermost shell. Right, so, and the size is also something which is taken into consideration. So, so we talk about capability and the desire. So, in case of noble gas, no desire to gain electron, zero electron enthalpy. In case of uh, group fifteen, the nitrogen family, partial desire, half desire to get get electron because they are half satisfied in their life, so they have less electron gain enthalpy. Right. And these, if you talk about boron, carbon, oxygen, fluorine, they are, all have desires. Some has more, some has less. And they have different capabilities. Some has more and some has less. So combining this capability and desire, you come to the value of electron gain. That's a logical trend of electron gain enthalpy in the periodic table for P block elements. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.